hey good day guys you're welcome again to my channel i'm joshua the designer i create amazing contents on structural engineering and engineering design at large this is where you just want to be to get better as touching engineering and i will encourage that you like this video you subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends and your colleagues that should get better with structural engineering and today i want to take you through something um, that will make you progressive with your knowledge on CSA Orion Building Design System and it is the foundation designs and particularly the raft foundation how to design a raft foundation with CSA Orion and I would like that you pay attention as we go ahead into it and of course you should be familiar with this model if you have been through other tutorial videos on CSC Orion. Okay, so if we want to provide a raft foundation for this particular model, then this is what we we'll do. So this is story OO and definitely our foundation floor. So then we want to create beams on that floor, ground beams. So I want to use a depth of 1.2 and like I said in one of my tutorials I said that as a structural engineer who is supposed to provide solutions to your building design in such a way that your soil bearing capacity would be able to uh, bear the building load and transmit and if the foundation is going to transmit the load sufficiently then you should be able to demand for a soil report and also work with the conditions of that report okay so before i can determine what the depth of my ground beam is going to be definitely i must be working with a knowledge that has been acquired from a particular report so the report that will give me an idea of what i am to design with or what is on ground as touching the soil capacity is the soil report so i would encourage you as a structural engineer to pay high attention to the use of soil report and do not assume in this kind of situation where you can't be too sure assumption about bearing capacities in a place where you don't have a report or you don't have an idea of would could probably take you off so i want to encourage you get details of your report and understand what it is saying to you okay so i would assume that 1.2 meters is the recommendation from my soil report so i'm using that so Then I can have this. I can have this. I can have this. I have this. Then this. And this. And this. In this okay so I have my ground beams in place so if I would like to to have my beam wall load then I can right click on any of them I did beam wall load so I can put in the details of my wall the wall unit weight you insert it the wall height you can you can also insert it as for example, um, I want to show, I want to fit in my, my wall height and the floor to floor height that I have here is 3 meters, for example, and I have a 450 beam on the upper floor. So definitely I'm to subtract the 450 thickness from the floor to floor height. So I'll have something like 2.5 height, then the wall thickness is 
for five. Okay, so I have this, but on one beam. So I can right click and copy beam wall load, then highlight all, right click again, then I can paste copy beam wall load. You see what happened? So I have paste. I pasted all the beam on all beams, so I'm good to go. So starting from this point now, I can insert my slab. Then I want to use 175 mm thick slab, and I can add this. Now, but something is likely going to happen. Yes, and I'll show you so that you can you you wouldn't make that error, but it's not actually an error, but it's something you need to pay attention to when designing so that you save yourself of going and coming. You discover that your ground slab is here and it's not supposed to be here but on top of this beam, not beneath the beam. Yes, so you see what I mean now. So let me just get rid of all this slab and do the correct thing and show you what I'm trying to say. So I can have 125 mm thick slab. Then you come here. You see this reduced level. Yes, and that means you are taking this beam higher. So you have this slab higher rather. So if you are having a 1.2 thick beam, then definitely you'll be having 1.025. Oh, okay, is in mm. So 1025 mm. So let's see what we have. So okay. So let's check and see. If we are good to go so you see now it has lifted off let me try to eliminate a wall load and see if okay you see that the beam is the slab is now staying where it's supposed to stay which is on top of that beam okay so let me return this beam okay so you get what i just did yes so on to the next thing you can now provide your slab strip then but now we are using fe strip not analytical strip so then you can hold down your control key Here also, here also, then the Y direction, you do the same, and you do the same. Okay, so I believe we're done with that, then you can close. Now, having done this, we are set to begin our foundation design. So then, you have to check your FE Raft Foundation Analysis and the work begins. So we have Raft Foundation Mesh and Analysis. You hold on. So you generate model. So we have this and that's fine then you can close and hold on till it's done so your members have been calculated and um, here you can insert your your stress reliable stress of the soil and I told you that you work with your soil report so this detail 
will be in your story report then you pick it from your story report and work with it here so i want to work with 100 and let's see analysis post processing so this one will show you okay okay yeah so you select your draw slab strip so you see this is your floor now showing you the moment at different points so now to begin with you want to use a user defined contour okay so that's right so then the first thing i want to work with is to provide steel for this as d1 bottom that's along direction one the bottom still around direction one so then you come here and edit contour now so you see that what you have here the maximum that you have here is 603.34 and that is exactly what you want to provide against 603.34 so then you come here then let's provide at 150 now providing at 150 takes it above 603 you see it takes it above 603 so 150 white over at 150 gives 753 point nine eight so i will update so that's what i want and i press ok correct so along direction two for the bottom edit contours again i have 655.18 so i can use white of at 150 update and okay one t update and press okay okay along direction one the top reinforcement i can edit contours and the highest reinforcement there is 410.17 so i can provide y12 at 200 so update okay along direction 2 I can edit contours also then 441 so I can provide white hole at 200 update then ok so so if you like to check you see the maximum is 603.34 what about let's what about um, 150 yes i'm provided 753 so accurate so on this axis we have 655.18 then we provided 753 which is accurate okay on this We provided 565.49, which is greater than 410.17, which is the highest. Okay. I want us to confirm all of these before we move. Okay. And on this so we are good to to go now we can transfer our contours we can export our contours from here yes contours are exported to the floor plan contours can be displayed using region command in graphical editor layer controls can be used for setting the visibilities of the contours okay and um, let's
okay so we can actually exit this page we are done now we want to go ahead so let's hold on while the the contours have been transferred and the sl slab strips results have been transferred accordingly so you are the structural engineer you oversee your designs and you are responsible for every alteration and manipulation in your designs okay so i can transfer the beam result so that i'll be able to produce my slab reinforcement details and my foundation beam details at once so let's hold on okay now i can come here and update steel bars so you see just as we provided a y12 at 175 y12 at 250 y12 at 175 y12 at 225 y12 at 225 y12 at 200 so uh, it will give you a cool solution that you require so let's see so this is the raft and we have a solution here now but for your beam design results you can come here and check for beam section design and detailing that will check your foundation beams now you see that advanced foundation beams it hasn't passed any of them so you click them one after the other to see what's up with them so that you can you can go ahead so we have all this which is cool and this if you would like to make alteration to suit your your style or your taste you know so you can make the designs suitable to yourself so and this and this so once you're sure that all these reinforcements are good enough for you then it's fine Okay, and this. Okay, so we are done with our foundation beams designs. Okay, so that is simply how to get a solution for your raft designs on CSC Orion. Thank you for staying around. Do like, subscribe, and share this video and hang around as we come with amazing content afterwards. Thank you very much. I'm Joshua, the designer.